This is Design of Digital Computers by Hans W. Gishwind, uh, Springer Verlag, New York, Inc. It's a hard cover. Let me give it a good whiff here. Nice. Ah, yeah, nice. Let's take a look at this book. Design of Digital Computers and Introduction by Hans W. Schwind, Chief Engineering Development Division, Computation Directorate, Directorate, Air Force Missile Development Center. This is the sixth printing. Wow, 1967. And here's the copyright again, 1967 Springer Verlag Queen. Sixth printing. Let's take a look at the preface here, see what it says. Let's come into focus here. It's a little bit small. There we go. This book is intended as an introductory text concerned with the design of digital computers. Computer programming and operation are mentioned only when they have a direct bearing on the equipment itself. Interesting. All right. And here are the contents of this book. Table of contents, number systems, and number representations. Lots of topics there. Boolean algebra. Then we have logic circuits. I actually have some videos on that. Storage elements. Computer circuits. The functional units of a digital computer. Unorthodox concepts. And then miscellaneous engineering and design considerations and unusual computer components. And again, the copyright on this, 1967. So keep that in mind as you're reading it. Um, very old school stuff. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what it says here. Computers have attracted general interest only rather recently, although computing devices have been known for a long time. The Antikythera mechanism, supposedly used by ancient Greeks to determine the notions of the star, motions of the stars and planets, the astrolabes of the Middle Ages, and the Pascal's calculator, are only a few examples of early computational devices. However, the present usage of the term computer includes neither those relatively primitive, though there are certainly effective aids for computation. Interesting. Hmm. Binary variables. So it's got a lot of interesting things, a lot of math. This is pretty cool here. So you've got knots and ands and ors. This is a logic diagram for this function here. So, yeah. It's not super hard or anything. You just have to know how to do it. Just gonna give it another whiff here. Ah, yeah, anyways, just wanted to make this quick video to show you. Design of digital computers. Take care.